Good evening. Today is already February the 20th, 2023. Um, yeah, uh, every day from our Sacred Virtual Institute, more classroom, uh, we've been delivering more lectures. This, this more lesson, Mr. Xin has put on the board several times during uh, you know the past uh, uh, several months, but uh, we always had other things uh, on the agenda, and ended up we didn't actually get into this moral lecture. Um, it is a very important moral lecture that uh, uh, me and the Ms. Shim always want to deliver, and we will repeatedly talk about this moral lesson. I think we are living in the time uh, that the human mind is preoccupied by a falsehood, a falsehood. Hmm. Human mind uh, is putting more attention to the surface, superficiality of the human life. Hmm. And the human beings are being misled by some false, very you know, evil ideologies that are causing human mind to chase for money. Okay. Money, a lot of people think is important, most important, and they consider that is the measure of a person's success in terms of how much money the person has in possession. You know, what is the number of the money in your bank account? Uh, you walk around with how much, you know, thick stack of cash in your pocket. And the people also pay attention to the look of people. Like when you know, they judge a person's uh, social class, um, they evaluate a new person in their life based upon their presentation. Uh, what kind of brand name bag they have for the ladies, right? You know, mm -hmm. brand name clothes, you know, brand name everything. Mm -hmm. So they look at the outside you know, surface layer mm. of a person's presentation to assume that that presentation uh, is connected with the true value of that person. And, uh, you know, in the modern time, people, because they consider money is number one, therefore, all the thinking is about how to get money. All the thinking, even human relationship, they are judging a person based upon is this person has any potential to bring me more money. That is the reason that they very easily be fooled. You know, that's why there are a lot of scam. Why, you know, the human world uh, morality is going down the tube and why there are so many um, horrible things happening to the human world every day. Mr. Shim, you're very compassionate. You're very worried about what's going on in, you know, uh, Turkey these days. And the people are being buried under the ground. And every day people are dying. And, um, you know, you're thinking how, you know, the people need to live. The life is very precious. Live on, please, live. So I know you're very, you know, uh, compassionately thinking about how to help the Turkey people, and then therefore you watch the news, and you look at currently, you know, the people going into Turkey to help. And uh, I brought up a very uh, serious problem that I perceive when I read the news. Uh, for example, the Chinese Communist government sent the rescue team into Turkey, and they took that opportunity to let the Turkey people to make a stand for the CCP. If you support the CCP agenda and uh, you say bad things about your government, we give you a way to live and we, we're gonna give you money. You know what the Turkey people say? Go away, okay? Now, the Korean people from you, you said a couple of times about the Korean, you know, donations of uh, noodle or canned food. And their concerns about brand name, noodle brand name canned food, and ship to Turkey for the people, you know, going through disasters and need food. Sounds beautiful. Uh, what is the heart behind it? Heart. What is 
a heart behind it. If those people also have a hidden agenda, the presentation, the xiang, is beautiful if the heart is not pure. With a, an arterial motive for free advertisement, self-glorification, brand name food, fully aware of the food contains element that the Turkey people don't want to accept, such as pork. Okay. If you know that you deliver the food to the Turkey people, and the Turkish people had to make a choice between live versus eat this food that let you go against the many long time of tradition, whatever religious belief. Doesn't matter if it's right or wrong, but people already are deeply rooted and connected with it. You know, I consider that is all impurity. But the true compassion, the true loving heart can be manifested into truly wholeheartedly thinking for those people who are suffering and make things good to their heart without attachment of other conditions that you want to impose onto others. So um, this whole modern time, when I look at right now a uh, lot of uh, things in this world, truly it is really time for humanity to come back to pay attention to what is most precious in this world. Money, can it save life? Even if you have buckets and buckets of money at the time when you are buried under the earth, that doesn't even worse a little clusters of rice that can save your life. So at the critical moment, money is nothing, okay? Money is nothing. Um, the superficiality of the package, beautiful brand name food, but has pork in it. It comes to me if I have a faith that I will not eat pork, then this is poison to me. It doesn't matter whether it's brand name or not. Do you know what I mean? It's poison. So you see, human spirit is constantly being tested about principles. Are you living in the human world? Just want to live like an animal? Enjoying life? Yes, life is important, but are you living following the human way? Following God's arrangement to be a true good human being? with the understanding of going back to your true origin, following our creator's arrangement, without really knowing the truth and have a central theme of our daily life. We are very easily being misled by a lot of superficial evil ideologies like uh, materialism, atheism, evolution theories, right? and uh, communism, socialism, and uh, so-called glories, modern science and technology. There are lots of traps, lots of hidden agendas, lots of fake self. Mm -hmm. And if we don't go into the depths of the true heart, we will fail in our life, left and right. So, I want to use that as an introduction of today's very important moral lesson and also connect, you know, and explain to Mr. Shim today our argumentation about it. This is what I believe, the essence uh, for all human beings that we should follow is not doctrines, but the truths. We need to all look for the truths. And uh, in all conditions, do not live like an animal and always follow morality. Mm. Morality, the purity of the heart, is number one.